dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, uh, thank God for the gift of our lives and for this opportunity to share the Word of God with you. Today I want to reflect on John chapter 14 verse 1 and I read, Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. And so my reflection is titled, Do not let your heart be troubled. Are you troubled? Are you worried about something? Are you anxious about something? Jesus is saying to us today, Do not let your heart be troubled. So for us to understand very well the instruction of Jesus to his disciples and of course to all of us, I want us to look at the context. Jesus just told his disciples that he was going to suffer and die. He told them that one of them would betray him. He told them that all of them would desert him. He told them that one of them would deny him. So quite naturally, the disciples were so agitated, they were worried, they were troubled. But Jesus told them, even though I have broken this news to you, but do not let your heart be troubled. The only way we can understand this is that Jesus is not promising any of us an untroubled life, but is promising us an untroubled heart. So the circumstances around may not be favorable, but he's saying to us, do not let. Now, the, the, that word is very important. Do not let means do not allow your heart. Your heart wants to be troubled. Your heart wants to be anxious. Your heart wants to be agitated. How is this going to happen? What's going on around me? How am I going to sort this out? Your heart naturally wants to worry. But Jesus says, resist. Do not give permission. Do not feed your heart with worry. Do not allow your heart to be unnecessarily agitated. How can I do this? It says, believe. And the Greek word for believe is pistuete, which means just rest. Have confidence. Just lean on me. Believe what? Believe that God is in control. Believe that nothing happens to you without the knowledge of God. Believe that you're living your life according to purpose because we are serving a God of purpose. Believe that God knows what he's doing with you. Believe that all things are working for your good. Believe that the God you serve is a God to whom nothing is impossible. Believe that everything is okay once God is in control. You may not have seen it immediately, but just rest in God. I know the God I serve, and I know He's got everything under control. And so tell your heart, calm your heart. Do not be troubled, because God is in control. And everything shall work out well for me, to the glory of His name. My troubles today, my worries today, shall end in testimony. That is how to keep your heart from worrying, from being troubled, from being unnecessarily resty. Rest in His loving arms and it will be well with you. God bless you.